All right, hi guys, Keio here, and uh, we've just completed the tutorial in the Rail Valley. And now we're ready to take our first job. Nicely done. Now you're free to take your first job. Find one that you're licensed for and insert it to the job validator. Well, the only license we have right now is this this FH freight hall. So I think we're going to have to do do that. And uh, we don't we can't do the shunting because it needs the SH and this one also needs the long one license. This one needs the long two, and this one needs the logistical hall. Logistical halls are basically uh, moving empty cars between stations, then breaking up the train and putting the different cars to different tracks at the destination. Shunting jobs require you to load and prepare trains at this station, or unload and store trains. The which have arrived uh, and I think the only job we can actually accept here is this one freight hall SMFH 80 deliver steel rails from steel mill where we are to the harbor and town and it says time bonus 32 minutes train value 240,000 train mass 228 tons and train length 72.18 meters and the only license required is FH and uh, the payment is uh, 10,000 basically and the time bonus means that if we complete it in under 32 minutes we will get 50% uh, extra money and uh, I know that the single single loco can haul up to 400 tons so 228 uh, should be no problem and here's a little trick we're not going to accept this job right away but we're going to take this this piece of paper with us and see it's uh, called SM which is steel mill FH which is freight hall and uh, number of the job number is 80 so we're going to find these cars and then uh, we're going to take the loco to them before we accept this job and it makes it so much easier uh, to make the time bonus we'll, you'll see and then uh, Another trick with these to find them is here. See, this is uh, track. This is track uh, area B, and then it's one, and it's not number ten. It's B one O, and the O means output. So these are the outgoing rails where the new freight hall jobs are. This is B two O, and this one. Uh, here this one is B3I so this is an incoming track so these have just arrived and these are outgoing and this is uh, not n not named because this is the through track which goes through the station and this uh, B7S means it's a, it's a storage track so there's a car stored there and if you're doing a logistical haul uh, it might ask you to store cars and the storage tracks but for now we're looking at the at this uh, freight haul job with four cars with steel rails so let's see this one looks like a car with steel rails on it This is uh, SMFH50, and we need 80, so it, this is not it. This is SMFH99, so this is the third one. Uh, so let's go a bit further. Let's see, where can it be? You wandered too far. Please follow the tutorial instructions. Got it. Go back to continue the tutorial. Okay, okay, okay.
Oh, this is it. This is uh, SMFH80. And we need to bring the loco. Where's my... Where's my world map? Here. So we need to take the loco to the other side. Because... Um, because the harbor and town is that way. So we need to bring the loco here to be able to go that way. Okay, so we can go and accept this job now. Let's go under the train. That's fun, isn't it? But I think the tutorial wants us to accept the job now, so we can do it. Yeah. I will do your tutorial. And now we get this uh, job booklet. Plan your trip ahead before departing by referring to your maps. Depending on the direction of travel, you might need to reorient the locomotive at the turntable. Yeah, I tried to make uh, that into account. That's it, now you're on your own. Follow the printed instructions to complete this job. Good luck out there. Alright, let's see if we need the luck. So deliver steel rails from B4O. This is B4O, and haul this train to the harbor and town, E8I. Let's see. So, world map, so we're looking in the correct direction. So we'll bring the loco on this through track, go all the way there, and then bring it back and connect it. And I think our loco is here. Yes. And I think it turned off because we paid the fees. Okay. Let's go. Now we're going backwards. Let's see. 30 is fine. Let's see, let's see. Oh, and by the way, the tutorial train will disappear after we go too far from it. So after we leave the steel mill, uh, this uh, servicing shed will uh, be freed up. So you don't have to worry about where you leave your trains very basically. Unless it unless it's the train with the active job, then it doesn't disappear basically. Okay, we're almost there. Let's start the uh, braking a bit. Here we go. Here we go, and there it is. Let's stop. And uh, comes radio. Turn the switch, please brakes, Tur switch the reverse to the forward, and then we can move. And it says we can go up to 70 on this through track. But I think it's enough to go around 30, because we don't want to go too fast, it's just uh, wasting fuel for a few seconds, because it's such a short distance. And this is uh, all showing that we're going forward. And uh, speed limit is 50 on this through track. There we go. And we can coast all the way. And this is B4O, so this is the track where our job is. Okay. So these are the four cars that uh, we're gonna haul. Alright. And let's put the world map here, so that we can refer to it so easily. And it says we, uh, we can see we're going the correct way here. Okay, and we're coming to the switch. Let's start braking. Even with an empty low, even just the logo, you still uh, kind of need to em en anticipate all the stops and braking and stuff. 
and le at least it makes it much much smoother. All right, I'll show you how to switch the switch manually. So now we're here, and we can just go to the switch and flip this uh, handle, and the uh, and the uh, switch will flip. And then we need to go to B four row, so we need to flip this one as well, so like this. And now we can just go back and uh, yeah, uh, reverse, brakes off, and uh, let's go. And let's not go too fast because we need to not uh, damage the train. Okay, and I'm gonna use the keyboard. I'm going to use F8 for the train brake and F7 uh, to release the train brake. Then it's uh, F3 and F4 for the train brake and F1 and F2 uh, for for the gas and uh, to connect the uh, cars you should probably go less than 10 maybe even around 5 is a good speed like this now we're going like a bit too slow uh, I think it's fine actually alright connecting brakes on and let's get the uh, disconnected. Right here, then tighten. Connect the brake hose like this. All right, then uh, confirm we're going the correct way. Yes. So let's go. And the uh, brake pipe pressure is uh, is pressurizing, so we need to wait a few seconds before we can go. Oops. And uh, by the way, this is the wheel slip indicator. If it lights up, then you either need to uh, ease on the throttle or apply some sand. And this is the emergency engine off. I never had to use it to be honest. And uh, so if you break stuff, then this light will, will illuminate. All right, let's go. And we can feel, really feel that this train is much, much, uh, much, much heavier now. I applied uh, three clicks of the throttle, and uh, the empty logo would just be flying right now. But we're barely, barely moving. And this is only like half of the weight that this uh, logo can handle. Okay, I think we can apply one more throttle. Yep. Okay, and now we need to think that we're going uh, straight on. So left at this uh, next switch. We're still uh, accelerating. Left at the next switch. Yep. I think 30 is fine for now. Ease a bit. throttle again and we're going into a uh, into quite a steep uphill speed limit of 100 and 0.6 percent of uh, uphill let's see if we can put one more notch of throttle sure going 35 we can go 70 here and the next switch that will come we will turn left towards the harbor Okay, going 40. I think we can put one more throttle. Nope, wheel slip. We don't need to use the, the, the sand here. I think it's fine to go 40 and accelerate slowly. There we go. Just uh, blinking, so it's fine. Now it's even uh, it's deeper uphill, going 50. I think we can apply full throttle now. Nope, not yet. It's fine, we're going 50. And uh, look at this, the engine temperature is increasing. And when it gets to the yellow zone, we'll get a warning. And if we get too much into the red, then the, uh, the locomotive will break. 
and you would not be able to drive anymore, so we need to be careful. But I think we're through this hill soon, and then we can ease on the throttle. And, uh, yeah. Next switch is going to the left. Back to throttle, nope, still need to wait. Okay, there's the warning, engine temperature high. But I think we're uh, over the hill now. Yep. And next switch coming. And in uh, 200 meters. Let's see. Go zoom in. I think we need to switch it. Yep. There we go. There we go. To the left. And then coasting. Just before it's break, just before the engine is overheating. You're still going over 50, so kind of fine. And I think uh, once we get past this uh, mountain, then we will just go downhill all the way to the harbor. Okay, some more throttle now that the engine is a bit, a bit cooler. go to the right but it's much uh, it's a much uh, slower road and this this is uh, like the high-speed track really straightforward so, get some speed again we can go up to 80 and this green means that the, on the next the speed limit it'll be higher again so I think the next one will be 90 or 100. The maximum speed on this logo is uh, 70 basically. You can't really go up at above 70. And if with a heavy train even 60 is pushing it sometimes. That's fine. Usually the jobs don't require you to go uh, that fast anyway. Okay, we need to get the throttle off again before the engine overheats and now we're basically coasting because we're cutting the, all the throttle and the speed is uh, almost to good almost staying the same the speed limit is 100 and speed is 120 the next uh, sign will say lower yep 100 and the next will be even slower I think it's the cause we're getting into a turn, and I think it's going to be 80 in the turn. Okay, so we're going to throttle again. Let's put full, full throttle here. Almost. Yeah, full throttle. And we can go this big 80. Speed is now 65. Getting the temperature into the yellow now. See, we are on full throttle and it's not increasing much uh, past 70. So, we're gonna release the throttle and let's coast. And the limit is 70 here anyway. And let's see. Uh, our fuel almost used a third. No, almost used a quarter of our fuel. So it doesn't really use that much fuel if you use coasting a lot. It uses a lot of fuel when you're climbing hills, but then you can coast a long way. And let's see what's happening next. We're getting a right turn into a, into a Y. This kind of intersection is called a Y because it's shaped like a Y, basically. So we're going to take right there 
and then this mountain pass into the harbor. Right, there's the river. And the speed is 65, bouncing a little, but that's fine. If it's bouncing too much, there's the risk of uh, derailing. But if you're under the limit, there's usually very little risk. It just bounces up and down sometimes. In the turns, especially in the turns. And there's a lot of these deep uh, cliffs and stuff. And if you're if you derail and fall there down there, all the old train is uh, basically lost. But uh, there's no death in this game, so basically, it's not game over. If you just uh, lose the train, and in the later parts of the game, you will have to pay like hundreds of thousands or millions. Okay, so we're going in the tunnel now, and we need to turn turn right. So let's switch this. There we go. Speed is step limit is 70, and into a downhill, deep downhill. Let's just blow the horn when getting into the tunnel. And we're going downhill now with the heavy train, so the speed is going to increase. So we're going soon. We'll have to apply some train brakes, I think. Yep, let's uh, one notch of brake. Oh, I think we need more brakes because 40 here, actually. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. 50, and then brakes off. That was a bit stupid from me. I think we're going to stop now. But if you go about uh, like 50 through here then uh, the train will basically the train will fall down to the canyon so we had to apply a lot of brake pressure so we uh, we slow down to 25 now we can uh, put more throttle in uh, I haven't played this game in like a month so I forgot that there's 40 this game plays so many tricks on you. Like there's like a really fast uh, section of track where you go like 70 or 80 and then suddenly it's 50 or 40. And you just need to remember because otherwise uh, you're going to have to use a lot of brakes or you might derail. And it's fun to derail sometimes but uh, I don't really like it. I like to play it safe. Okay, we're going uh, 40 now. I think there might be another 40 coming in here, in this area, probably. Yeah, it's, this is 50. So we'll just coast through here. And if you need to uh, use the brakes a lot, that will wear out uh, the wheels as well, and it'll increase your costs. Although sometimes it might be worth it if you have a really if you have a really expensive load uh, and a tight schedule, then you might need you might decide to wear out the train a bit more to make the schedule. But that's a decision you're going to have to make. The speed limit is 60 here, but I think I'm going to apply one notch of the brakes. Yep. So you can see there's some. Uh, brakes pipes are a bit unpressurized because yeah that's 40 I think we need to apply more brake I mean going 10 over might not be the end of the world but okay yep I don't want to risk it in the first video even though that might get more views if I crashed and burned but I don't know I'll have to I'll have to be really careful I mean, I just want to show how to properly drive the trains, not how to... I mean, there's other channels that show all the explosions and stuff. Let's uh, get a bit of uh, speed up. Although, we're just gonna get into this intersection, this junction here, 
after we'll take the left towards the towards the harbor at uh, four, in 400 meters so I think 50 is fine here I mean you don't need to optimize the speed every time I think we'll still ma even make the 32 minutes of uh, time limit and I mean speed is increasing so I think we're a bit in a bit of a uh, downhill this one shows left and we need we need to turn left I'm gonna apply a brake Yeah, it's, it's just 40. There we go, 40. Going 50, releasing the brakes. And I think it's a quite a steep downhill to get to the harbor. Not already see it. It's such a, such a nice area with the big ship and all the piers so that you can drive into. There's the military base and then there's the town. Speed limit 60 and 2.3% uh, uh, grade downhill. So, well, we have brakes, no brakes on. I think we're going to accelerate anyway. Yep. And this is says 40. I think we need to stay below 40. So I'm going to apply two notch of brakes and see this how the speed behaves. Still increasing, but not a lot. So I think it's fine. And if you have a really, really heavy train, then you need to use the brakes uh, a lot more and uh, anticipate a lot more. Okay, now our speed is decreasing, so I release the brakes. But it takes a while to pressurize the brake pipe. Uh, we're still at 30, so I think it's fine. 30 is, uh, is a good speed in the, in the area. So now we're getting closer, so we need to see where we had to, where did we have to go again. Harbor and town, E8I. So we're gonna take the station map, go to HB, which is harbor and town. We, need, we are coming in from the west, and we need to go to E, so it's here. So we need to take a left, and a left, and then go straight ahead. This one is, is uh, left and 40. So yeah, we're going a bit, bit over, just a, just a notch of break to get us uh, to a safe uh, speed. I don't want to apply too much brakes, so that we don't have to accelerate again. And then this left. There's the the train sheds. There's a turntable, and then there's uh, two DE6s, which is the the larger diesel train in this game, and then two DE2s, which is this this uh, loco. And here's the town. There's a shop somewhere in here as well that sells uh, some useful stuff. I'll show you later. And uh, where did we have to go again? Uh, E8I. I'll just put this down here. So I don't forget. I just like this VR style where you have to actually just like these papers that you can throw away, uh, throw around and it stays there. Okay, so left here, left here, and then it's A E8I. So we're going to have to go to the right. Right, see so comes radio. Right, right, drop it, and then this one to the left. I think. Yep, so right, right again, and then uh, left here, and it's 8i, so 8, uh, track 8 for incoming. And we're going to and the mission is, the, or the objective is, for all the cars to be past the sign. That's it, basically. Um, but I think I like uh, I like order, so I'll bring it a bit uh, closer to the other cars here. There we go. Let's take the map and then start braking. There we go. And nice and smooth. 
and then we'll have to go and turn this in. There we go. And uh, unlike you might think, you don't have to disconnect the, uh, the cars or anything before you turn the turn it in. So we'll just go here. Here is the station office for Harbour and Town. And let's see, this is the job. Job validator. Okay, that was 24 minutes and we base payment of 9948. Let's see, next page. So we got this uh, base pay of 9948 and time bonus of $4974. So we got 14,922. So that's awesome. Let's see then. Well done. And uh, the last page with the squirrel. And no environment damage. And then we'll just throw it in the bin. And take our cash. Nice. Look, look 14,922. There we go. And let's see the fees. That would have cost us 3,692 in fees. You can, uh, and if you have if you have the manual uh, uh, the manual servicing license, you basically pay half pay half of this. So that would be like uh, 1,800 or so. But that's okay. Anyway, guys, I think that's enough for this uh, first uh, haul, first haul. Uh, please leave a comment and a like and uh, I'll see you in the next one thanks